All right. Looking at the new notes, let's see. Uh, we changed the way family is extended. Our new version focuses on the foundation for your dynasty. So this is the new update that just came out uh, today. So I want to see what it looks like. Uh, you're going to Habsburg people. <laughs> uh, so romance system has been changed again. Uh, start a romance with a character before you can make that character your lesion. Um, okay. As soon as romance starts, you can improve the affection score between your character and your romance. Unlike before, you are able to make advances uh, to a romance whenever you want. Nevertheless, be aware that if you do do that too early that your romance won't like if affection isn't high enough yet okay so you can't just go up and be like hey have let's uh let's get married or romance start and then compliment and then marry i see uh as often requested you know integrated a ui that lists potential candidates for romance okay so you don't have to click the uh romance and then go around the entire map and find someone that's good which is, I, I like that you know that's good uh quality of life whole thing uh but we you know some of you like to pick your t directly in the game world that's why we added a button in the ui that lets you pick character directly in the game world if you don't have a romance you will be informed if you try and start a lesion uh, liaison liaison don't know how to say that whatever uh proposal though it can Though, if you have romances, you may also get the quick UI selection uh, when making a marriage. I should probably change the name of uh, this thing. Uh, so that is... Where is it? Mm -mm -mm. Do I even have one? Oh, well. I'll just rename it to Guild Three Play. All right. Yep. This is going into the update notes. All right. So what we're we doing? Uh. So the whole thing with romance changed, made it easier. That's good. It was really kind of difficult. Not really difficult, but like easier. Uh, from now on, your avatar, spouse, and heir are able to start romances with family members of other dynasties. Okay. Because I tried doing that before and it didn't work. So I assume you just couldn't do that with other dynasties. Now you could be able to marry and produce offspring. This way you're able to further strengthen your dynasty's future. So you could just technically inherit all their land. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. From now on, real cool stuff is coming. It's more like Hatsburg kind of people. You are now able to try and marry the heir of another dynasty into your family. You can do that only in very sneaky way. You need to make the competitor's heir fall in love with you and then do a rushed wedding. <laughs> if your competitor is not disinheriting his or her heir, you will get 75% of all money and influence. That's And all businesses and houses. That's hmm, interesting. When your competitor's leader leaves the mortal world, so be very careful who your heir is hanging out with. We are really happy about that change as it allows you to take over properties of your competitor without violence. That's good, because I remember the only way you could actually get land is through, uh, what is it? Ah. Is through, um taking over conquest buildings and that was very lucrative because most times that was illegal and you'd get in trouble for it but you would have to be some sort of high ranking uh, official so you could get away with it okay where were we uh, that's that so you, you probably are asking yourself influences much well the overall Way of getting towns XP didn't sit well with us. That's why we introduced a new currency called Influence. Influence can be seen as your political power, claiming titles, or executing some actions that require to use your influence. Influence can be gained through expanding your businesses and be 
executing certain actions in the future, political offices will also provide you with influence regularly. The amount of influence you currently have is shown right below the money display in the count upper left in your HUD. We hope that you are excited to us influence concept and upcoming patches will add more and interesting influence driven actions to the game and also work further uh, further work on balancing, which no, oh, so, so you can't just go uh, within four cycles. You can't just go from some guy that no one knows to uh, suzerain, which is probably good. Makes it a lot more balanced and stuff like that. Make it more interesting for multiplayer. That'd be f for sure. In order to have XP only on characters, we also removed XP from unlocking dynasty skills as well. Skills can be now unlocked. Uh, for your dynasty with money and influence. Additionally, we change the way skill trees are presented from now on. It should be way more clear why skills are locked and wh what's needed to unlock them. Okay, so you can't just have our main guy sitting in a mill for God knows how many years so we could all of a sudden know how to build level 3 farms and everything like that. Another problem we wanted to solve is tool tips for titles, systems, and Alexa Lost players aren't used to the right click plus hold controls for more detailed additionally lots of level one tool tips and mouse over were not very useful that's why we now more detailed tool tip on the right click plus hold patterns uh okay so it's just on mouse over now instead of holding uh right click plus as we also wanted to make tool tips more useful we changed the layout and useful information we hope that you like it but Tool tips are now way more useful. That's good to hear. Lots of you gave feedback that would like that your family members are not bound to the working times and we changed this so you could work 24-7. Yay! That's classic guild. I love it. Uh, the diary was also removed from the game. Uh, it was useless anyway. Please note, game does not display load slash save games from outdated patch version as they have become incompatible to the rework system. No! That means we have to restart uh uh our last guild uh, i should add something here new update we can't continue the old uh old playthrough because uh incompatible saves due to the new thing sucks that means we'll have to start a new campaign and you will see what that is later today all right Got that done. Uh, here's balancing, updated prices uh, for s titles and skills, change some of the cooldowns, starting businesses, start with more inventory slots. New action, sweet talk. Increase your romance's affection towards you by taking in a very, very private way. Uh, kiss cheek, ask for a favor. Yeah, ask you know, to talk well about your family if done correctly, your reputation if you're doing, can you use connections. Their political connections, influence, manipulate, leeson, uh, gain evidence, or find some evidence, boast. This is a good way to uh, increase your influence. Donate to the church, so the church is actually useful. Uh, gain a higher standing with the church officials, and they're with more influence. Grease the wheel. Oh god, we're only halfway done. Bribe public servants, increase influence. Bribe public office holder, gain political influence. Okay, so that's the whole influence thing that they were talking about before. Uh, what is this? Uh, it was a very big update. Unfortunately, some of the new issues introduced decreased stability and performance. That's why we focus on a lot of aspects. Yay! So it doesn't crash every five minutes. I love it. Uh, let's see, bug influences, uh, okay, changed it from not being able to start the game, uh, fix bug, that sending kids to school, okay, that's good, because, uh, the game would crash, that's why we had to stop that before, uh, business AI, transferring items, declaring a feud, all the stuff like that. Uh, see money or influence when canceling an action. Cause the AI to produce items that are not despite uh, unlocked blueprints. Uh, so it changed a bunch of AI stuff. Use buildings that uh, actions that weren't unlocked. Uh, point new air. 
uh, not show control icons. Okay, so there's just a bunch of stuff to prevent the game from crashing, which I, I appreciate, so I don't have to save every five minutes because they still haven't implemented auto saves. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, fix the game bug, uh, remove non working marriage, proposed marriage button, fix the bug, uh, guard dog show up twice in the skill tree, fix surf. Okay, good. Let's see. Buildings are decaying over time. They should be repaired from time. But NPC dynasties are currently ignoring the decay uh, of their buildings. So their buildings will eventually collapse. That's funny. Uh, if you're experiencing difficulties with loading and saving the game, you may attempt to delete all your files from the folders in the game. And okay, so this is uh, that one problem that w that one guy had. That he told me that he couldn't even start the game. You just have to delete the game and reinstall it. Uh. What are we planning for the next patch? Combat. Interesting combat with the system with new attributes and more importantly, more than one-on-one -on -one fights. That's good. Uh, working on outlet. And uh, yeah.